Mario Day, everyone, and to me especially, because we got some huge news that I'm really excited for, being the confirmation of there being a Super Mario Brothers movie too, or more accurately, a movie that takes place in the world of Super Mario Brothers, which could be <laughs> a, something else other than a direct sequel. So we'll be talking about that. Before we get to it, though, I want to cover a, quick, a few other quick headlines from today in case you missed them. Being a Thousand Year Door remake has an official release date on May 23rd, Luigi's Mansion 2 coming June 27th, and in just a couple mm -hmm. of days, May 12th, we have three new NSO Game Boy Color games, or Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, being Dr. Mario, Mario Golf, and Mario Tennis, which if you're an RPG style fan, you'll really like those latter two, because those games have these RPG-like mechanics, you know, in the wrappings of a sports game. Really interesting stuff. But again, we're largely here to talk about whatever this Mario movie is going to be. So, more details on it is that they gave a release date, April 3rd, 2026, in the US and other territories, either on the same day or elsewhere in the month. Uh, which, Tris, this this is actually the, the biggest shock to me. I mean, right. obviously we knew they were going to make either a sequel or a follow-up to the Mario movie. That's only two years away. That seems really soon. Like, that's, that's crazy soon to me. And I'll be honest, my gut reaction is, oh, I hope they're not rushing this, you know. But, you know, as, assuming they've been working to some degree... Uh, since the first one, they've had now over a year minus a strike period, which, you know, could be interference. And then, mm -hmm. uh, Chris from Illumination, um, specifically said that, uh, they already had, I think, the storyboards and, like, pre, pre-viz stuff largely yeah. done. And yeah, he said they're, star soon. they're starting animation soon, and right. I was surprised to hear that. So, it means it's, it's decently far along. This isn't, this isn't like their announcement of the Zelda movie a few months ago, where it sounds like it's pretty early and this is like hey we can publicly say we're doing this now and it's years and years and years away this is hey we're already getting into animation for this so just so you know it's coming in two years which is wild considering the timeline for the original mario movie because that was announced i believe in 2018 meaning it took about what five years for us to finally yeah. get it so this one's happening on a quicker timetable and you know again my gut reaction i woke up i saw that i'm like yes and then i'm like oh that's really soon i hope they're not rushing it but, you know, <laughs> considering that I imagine a lot of the development for the first movie was just even figuring out how to even make Mario work as a movie, yeah. that all that work has largely you know, been done. And making a sequel should, I assume, be a smoother process. And I have, you know, based on how good for me the first movie was, and a lot of people, of course, I have full confidence in this team now. I'm not too worried, but of course I'm always going to be a little concerned that they're, you know, <laughs> that it lives up to the quality of the first one. Yeah, I mean, I think Illumination's pretty good with their sequels, usually. Like, usually, like, once they kind of establish the world they're building in, they usually are able to get on top of it and start, uh, like, churning up more of those. I mean, we've seen that with, like, Despicable Me. They're on, like, what, four now, plus a couple <laughs> spinoffs? Like, right. so they, they know what they're doing in terms of once they, once they have a world established, being able to work further with that. And I think that's probably what took the longest for Mario movie, originally, of coming up with all the concepts, how exactly they want to get it to look, and feel and then constantly passing that back and forth with Nintendo and then in this case they have a lot of that groundwork already there now it's okay well how do we take it further and I should add that the one one of the few things Miyamoto did clarify or maybe not clarify say about the movie which isn't you know <laughs> shocking but he did say that this time this time we're thinking about broadening Mario's world further and you'll have a bright and fun story um, mm, so, th so that's okay. interesting. So they are looking at new locations, clearly. So yeah. it won't just be the ones we've already seen. Um, and with him calling out it being a bright and fun story, which, you know, we'd expect from Mario. <laughs> it does. It did stand out to me, though, with, you know, it being the second movie. Oftentimes you see in, you know, movies that have a direct sequel or part of a tri trilogy, the middle one's, like, usually the darkest. So I wonder if they can try to avoid that in this case, you know, and uh, buck that trend. But again, we, we don't even know whether this is a direct sequel or not. You know, yeah, it seems that's like true. they're kind of teasing that direction, but why not just say it? But then Nintendo does this weird stuff where they, you know, dance around the bush, you know, or beat around the bush or whatever it actually is. Um, so what do you think, Tris? Well, the fact that they're specifically saying it's a new movie in the world of Super Mario Brothers movie, that tells me that it may not they don't they don't want us to know. Right. If it's specifically a sequel or not, it could be a Donkey Kong movie for all yeah. we know. To coincide with the fact that they're trying to push Donkey Kong more and now we have the, the Donkey Kong expansion coming to the theme park. By the time this movie comes out, that that would also have been in here in the U.S. with um, Epic Universe. So Donkey Kong could be what's getting pushed to kind of coincide with that, theoretically. And with how much everything related to Donkey Kong was well-established in the first Mario movie, that is pretty adjacent. 
Yeah, I mean, it would make a lot of sense, and DK was a uh, pretty uh, major character of, of the movie, and as you mentioned, he's been getting a lot of attention recently with the theme park yeah. and a lot, and, you know, other things as well. Um, so I, I could see that being possible. Um, and so I have some ideas for what form this movie could end up taking. I'll mm-hmm. get to those in a second, but there was one other point I want to touch on real quick, and that is the fact that with them re-signing up with Illumination, which isn't a huge surprise, Illumination mm-hmm. they even teased something to this degree a little while ago, saying that they were looking that they considered Mario a franchise for them. So clearly, right. that would encompass more than just this one movie. They really just show like a vote of confidence from Nintendo. Like they are sticking with Illuminations. They're obviously happy with how the first movie went, despite the critical reaction. <laughs> uh, almost everyone else seemingly loved it. Uh, it did blew up the box office. Um, so it's just good to see that Nintendo, again, having confidence in their relationship and partnership with Illumination. Which, you know, right. a lot of people were worried about that initially. Like, are they the w- right ones for a Mario movie? I myself was worried! And they delivered <laughs> in spades on that front. So it's good to see them coming back. And it actually has me actively excited to see what they're going to come up with. Whether it's Mario 2, Donkey Kong, or something else. So, Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see what they have in store here. And I think the success of the first movie is a perfect testament to, yeah, th- they're going to keep going with this. It, there's no reason for Nintendo to leave Illumination for this series specifically. Yeah, especially, I mean, and, like, I, this, I, honestly, the Mario movie for me was something I've been waiting for my entire life. Like, the 93 mm-hmm. movie didn't quite cut it as a kid. <laughs> and uh, this is what, this finally delivered what I've been waiting, you know, 30 plus years for. And uh, and it's probably, like, legitimately the, one of my favorite things Nintendo's made in the last 10 years or so. Um, right. So that's why I'm so excited for whatever this ends up being exactly. You know, whether it's Mario 2 or something else, we'll, we'll obviously get a proper Mario 2 eventually if it's not here. But I guess I was wondering for you, Tress, what do you want it to be? Like, personally speaking, do you want it to be a direct sequel? Do you want it to be something else? You know, a, a DK spinoff? What are you, uh, mm-hmm. you kind of hoping for here? I think I don't want it to be a direct sequel yet, only because when they say uh, from the worlds of it, I want to see them really expand on that. Give us something that adds to the world building. Give us something with Donkey Kong. They teased Yoshi last time. Give us right. something with Yoshi. Give us a whole focus on Luigi. We had King Boo in the last movie. Give us something related to Luigi's Mansion. Like, something that further expands all of this, that gives us more of these characters without it being the grand scale Mario, Luigi, Toad, Peach, DK, all on another adventure. Right. Let it focus on a couple of those characters or something. Kind of like how Sonic is getting the Knuckles show now. I like the idea of getting to do more with this world without it being uh, the next large-scale, we're-all-here-together adventure. And I, I, I hope it fleshes that out more. Yeah, I mean, it's, it kind of... I mean, based on me and those very limited words, it sounds like <laughs> right. that's kind of what they're aiming for. And, again, it could just be Nintendo being weird, but it kind of does suggest to me that this probably isn't the direct sequel. Mm-hmm. Um, even if that may be what I want right now just because I love the first one so much, I'd be okay with them <laughs> doing a spin-off um, and exploring other characters. Because the way, especially when they, the way, the, the wording again, broadening Mario's world further, you know, it, that does kind of line up with like following, you know, either different characters or a subset of characters that, uh, you know, maybe weren't the focus of the first one. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I think, what do you think the odds are that that is a DK movie then? Do you think that is the most likely option, or...? I think out of everything we have right now, that is actually the most likely. Just because of, again, Super Nintendo World getting like such a huge Donkey Kong focus now. I right. think DK makes the most sense without it being a whole separate the Donkey Kong movie. Or I guess right. they could call it that, but it's from the worlds of Super Mario Brothers, the Donkey Kong movie. And I think that fits with the world building they've been trying to set up. This isn't them jumping jumping straight over to Zelda for a future Smash movie by Illumination or anything like that. It's still within the realms of what we know for Mario. Yeah, because something that the movie that did that was really smart was it finally kind of married the Mario and Donkey Kong worlds together. Like, that's something we really haven't ever had outside of the spinoffs, which don't even really attempt to do that. They throw a bunch <laughs> of stuff together and call it a day. Uh, yeah. So the movie finally kind of brought those worlds together in a cohesive way, which is awesome. And that's why, like, you know, a yeah, a movie that takes place around Donkey Kong still was it still within the world of Mario like that just seems like a natural extension but then I'm trying mm-hmm. to think like what kind of story could you do here like is it a sequel to what happened in the Mario movie does it does it even like does it even factor into what we saw in the Mario movie 
Myself, I've been kind of hoping, I'll be curious to see if you have any thoughts, Tris. I've mm -hmm. been thinking a prequel could have some good opportunity here, where we see, uh. like, how Donkey Kong and Diddy, like, became friends. You know, like, clearly we saw it very briefly, they're close in the movie, but we didn't really see them directly interact. I want to yeah. see that, I want to see them, how they became, you know, best buds. And uh, I think as part of that too, you could tie that into a much larger narrative where we see what caused the formation of the Kong army, the strongest <laughs> army in the world. Like, why did they have to make this army? What happened there? Like, there had to be something that caused it, right? And of course, war Tris, this, what? I said the war of the Kongs versus it, the Kremlings. <laughs> yes, exactly, Tris. That's how you bring in the Kremlings. This is how you bring them back in a big way. Could you imagine the hype? We've gone... Uh, there are DK focused accounts out there that that are you know like are losing their mind. In, in, I mean this in the best way possible for you know King K. Roll not being seen in forever in the mainline games. Of course, he came back for Smash. They want him right. back. I want him back. This if they brought him back, you know, and the Kremlings as part of a movie. That's your big comeback story right there, right? That would be huge, <laughs> and they'll put him back on the map, and I would think reopen the door to them being in the games again. Yeah, no, I definitely think a prequel exploring, like, how the Kongs got to where they were in the Mario movie would be really interesting. I think that's a great way to have a movie focused on them. Just because I think to do it afterwards, it would, I feel like you would have to factor in something related to Mario and the Mushroom Kingdom otherwise because of just how closely knit right. that all is now. Uh, so th this is kind of the best way to have something that's solely focused on everything with the Kongs. But my, my, my one concern there is obviously, can they say it's from the world of Super Mario if they don't even have Mario anywhere in the fi anywhere in the film? <laughs> I think, I mean, I think, I think it could get away with it. I mean, this, mm -hmm. right now, they're not really mark, I mean, this is marketing, but they're not, like, advertising it this way actively yet. Right. Um, and I think they could get away with it, because like, it's clearly still within the universe of Mario. Maybe, you know, world as well, technically, but um, I think mm -hmm. they've already established that. So I think you, I think you could actually just run to those characters and not have to deal with Mario at all, and and have it work. No, that's not to say there couldn't be a Mario element here as well. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind them focusing more on the DK side of things and kind of like treating that almost as its own universe for this one movie. Not again, not to the extent that they're like, you know, <laughs> pretending Mario doesn't exist, but more that the focus is just on the DK side of things, the jungle, the more right. you know, the the more elements that uh, we uh, associated with Donkey Kong rather than Mario, you know. Yeah. No, that absolutely makes sense. And I I, I think it's good to see that the, the first thought when it comes, oh, let's do something with DK, isn't let's throw him in, Brook let's throw him in Brooklyn and put Pauline there. Like, I'm glad it's not just, just make that. make a King Kong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I... So I that, actually, that's a thought that had occurred to me, but that could be that could be how you merit, you know, bring in the story of Donkey Kong, the original arcade yeah. game, right, and try and make, justify it. But <laughs> yeah, it's hard to it's hard to ma imagine that making sense, especially with the DK that we know now. You know, like yeah, right. why would he? Why would he? Especially with him being celebrated as a hero at the end of the Mario movie. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think one thing one thing that's interesting though when they mention from the worlds of Mario, I, I keep focusing on that just because they're using that to not directly say a sequel, right? My mind, one thing my mind really jumps to that I want, but I want saved specifically for a sequel, is to go the galaxy route. We already had a Luma with Luma Lee in the first movie. Right. We had Peeps talk about all the many different worlds out there looking up at the stars. All of this could theoretically be teasing some level of like a Mario Galaxy kind of thing, but if it's not a direct sequel to the Mario movie, like if it's not... Super Mario Brothers movie two. Right. I don't know if I want them to do the galaxy element yet because I think that's the biggest way to to blow into that. I kind of agree with that. I mean, I I think there is a world in which, Pe like you could have Peach have her own standalone adventure. I think and make it yeah. work. It you'd have to do some you know explanation for why Mario and Luigi aren't participants here. Maybe they're kidnapped. Who knows. Um, and maybe that's the angle here. Like, maybe she's trying to find your past, <laughs> you know, trying to find out where she came from. But they did tease that, as you said, in the first one. I think right. there's story potential there. But, you know, can that carry a full story? And, you know, why not just make it a Mario movie 2 at that point, right? But, you know, maybe they would want to focus just more on Peach or, you know, a specific character. Like, I, I thought, you know, is this maybe how they bring Daisy into the universe, you know? But yeah. I feel like trying to introduce Daisy... You you need something. You you can't just make it a Daisy movie. Obviously, I feel <laughs> no. like right. It would have to be something either connected to Peach or the Mario movie too. You know you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. So, I I think the the only other option that really is making sense to me, um, without it directly being Mario movie too, 
is something more akin to like as you teased earlier or mentioned earlier a Luigi's Mansion movie I think right. that has potential you focus more on Luigi it would almost be like the inverse of the Mario movie where the focus is more on Luigi maybe Mario's kidnapped maybe there's some other reason Luigi's you know having to explore these creepy homes or whatever uh, but mm -hmm. I think that has potential especially with how with Luigi's arc in the first one where like we see him like he's scared of everything but he becomes brave by the end doesn't mean he's not scared or won't be scared again right but he, we can see him step up but it was, it's within the context of being with Mario so now you remove the Mario component he's going back to being a scared Luigi self right <laughs> and uh and I think that could be a really fun arc to explore where he has to like overcome you know, his own fear and being strong by himself without relying on his brother, which, you know, we know nothing can hurt them when they're together, right? So, I think... You know, mm -hmm. I just thought I just thought of, like, a really good, like, pretense for it. Like, how yeah. you could set up a Luigi's Mansion movie of, instead of, oh, I, I won this mansion, the contest never entered, and Mario went ahead of me. We already know they're back to being plumbers in the Mushroom Kingdom, right. specifically. You can have them sent out on a job to go plumbing, the, uh, to go fix the plumbing in, like, this mansion. And they don't really know who called it in, but they have to go do that. And that's when all the shenanigans can happen. I like it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that could be, that could, actually, it's a great one. I really like that idea. Like, maybe, yeah, maybe they have to split for some reason on the job, you know, and uh, Luigi has to go off to do this one by himself. And, well, there we go. There's our problem. So, yep. <laughs> um... And yeah, so I think I yeah, so I'm really excited. I, I you know the more I think about this, I'm almost more interested in it not being Mario Two, only because obviously we're gonna get Mario Brothers Two movie at some point. Like obviously right. that's gonna happen. So if they can flesh out that world even more, uh, and kind of like make this almost universe of Mario movies without it being you know like the MCU style, <laughs> that could be really interesting. I think, and I I love that idea, and that could really that really opens the door to any kind of movie. You know, we could get. Something focused more on Rosalina, Daisy. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas. Um, you know, of course, we have the Yoshi teach at the end of the first Mario movie. They could follow up with that. Maybe it's a movie with Yoshi just causing havoc in New York. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it definitely has me excited, though. So I, I, I legitimately can't wait for this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, we've been waiting pretty much since, like, the month the Mario movie first came out. Like, okay. We know there's going to be a sequel. Come right. on, of course it's going to be. We've been waiting for this announcement, and it's it's great to finally have it. Whatever form it takes, it's great yep. to have it. Yeah, you don't you don't become the third highest grossing anime movie of all time and don't <laughs> make a sequel. I mean, it's actually the biggest shock is that it took it this long to announce that there's all of this is going to happen. And I'm just glad. But the thing that actually is reassuring, Tress, is that they have been working on it. Like, they were actively working on it throughout uh, this entire time that they were able to. And not yep. that they're only now getting started on it, right? But that'll be the that'll be the worry. Like, you know, they yeah. had plans. You know, they were going to make it eventually. But, no, they're not wasting any time. They're moving on this quick. So, <laughs> I mean, this is going to be... This is probably going to be the Zelda movie. <laughs> which they already... Yeah, probably. Of, yeah. So... Um, Tris, any other thoughts about the Mario movie? Uh, ideas, concerns, anything else you want to see? Anything? We I think I, I I think one thing to note is that I think this is the exact schedule they've wanted it to be along. Yeah. Like announcing this on Mario Day, I think it's exactly what they wanted to do. I think, and the fact that they even say in there, "Hey, we're we're almost ready to get into animation." I think this is exactly where they wanted to be with it, which is good because it means maybe they weren't heavily. Uh, like, like too heavily set back by like the strikes and everything last year because I feel like if they weren't at that point if they weren't confident they can make it in like two years time I don't think they even would have come out and announced it yet I don't think they would have said like oh we're just starting right. a, um, a Mario movie too like stay tuned like I don't think they wanted to do that I think they want the fact that the turnaround is going to be within a couple years yeah, that's actually uh, that's actually a really good point. They, they they seem pretty confident in hitting this release date too. Although mm -hmm. you know they did delay the first one, that's always a possibility. That's true. But um, yeah, I think I agree with just everything you said. So yeah, we're we're just a little over two years away from this movie now, which is gonna that that isn't that much time. It's gonna fly by. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's only gonna be at most a year out from the Switch 2's release date. <laughs> so <laughs> that tells you something. And and what's great too is it's right around the same time as the first movie. It's that er it's that early like first week of April. Right. Yeah, I was actually looking at the calendar. I think it's yeah, almost exactly the same time of year, which shows to me like they they're happy with that release date. Like it worked out for them once. They think it'll work out for them again, especially mm -hmm. if there's no other major competition there, which I don't know if we know that at this point or not. But uh, in any case, Mario is the big competition. So I feel like other movies <laughs> want to get out of its way, at least direct competitors, you know. So 
Uh, one real quick, just before we wrap it up here, the, one of yep. the point that I wanted to bring up, minor, is just uh, so what what don't we want it to be? Like, what don't we want this movie to be? And I only have one thing I don't want to see in it, and that yeah. is Wario and Waluigi. I love those <laughs> characters; they're amazing. I can't picture them working in a movie setting. Like, they just they're just weird. Like, and not just as personalities, but like, why do they look so much like Mario and Luigi? Like, do you have to explain that then? Do you make them look different? Wario is he going to be able to shut his mouth? Like, what's that look like? <laughs> you know? And I just have trouble imagining the, them work with the world as has been envisioned on the big screen. Mm -hmm. I think Wario and Waluigi could come eventually. I think they could find a way to make them work. Maybe like they come from Mario's world, but like or like like the original world, like Brooklyn and all right. that. But going through pipes, or whatever, like distorts them into something weird. I don't know. <laughs> but like I I don't know. But I think I don't want it yet. I don't yeah. want Wario and Waluigi yet, only because unless they're setting up specifically Wario as a villain, like his origins. I don't know if I want Wario the... <laughs> I don't know if I want the dastardly duo of Wario and Waluigi, <laughs> the spin-off kings. Because right. that's really what they are at this point. And introducing them so early, I feel like, would start to inflate the characters a little too much. Like, start to inflate the character roster too much without a large amount of purpose behind it. Yeah. When there's other characters that they would already be introducing that would be more, like, story relevant. Exactly. I mean, I, I, I think there's still a lot they can do with, you know, Bowser by himself. They always right. have the uh, they have the Koopalings they can fall back onto. They want to introduce them. Bowser Jr., of course. I myself would yeah. love to see them actually incorporate the Koopalings. Um, and, uh, and actually, that could be a fun thing too. Maybe what if it's a villain spinoff? Like what if it's a, what if it's an oh. exploration of Bowser? Because Bowser himself teased at the you know near the end of the Mario movie, like you know, or he mentioned rather, I should say, like now you're going to be. Uh, what, what miserable like I am or something like teasing he had like a dark history or something like something happened to Bowser and it would be so interesting to explore like what that was yeah you know? some sort of backstory on Bowser or wh whether it's like backstory or if it also ties into like how he escapes from Peach's castle right, and goes yeah. back to kind of recuperate his army and come up with his next plan recupa right yeah recupa right <laughs> <laughs> that could actually work out really well because then that that wouldn't take away from an actual Mario movie sequel because right. you'd you'd then have him exploring the actual plans he set in motion instead of him getting back to his whole crew uh, it, throughout Mario movie two or as a really quick scene you do this movie focused on Bowser that yeah. has all of that info that I mean that'd be really cool I think. Uh... You know, w w one possibility is you could almost pull like a d despicable me type thing, where mm -hmm. he ends up he becomes like the unwilling uh, uh, adopted unwilling father. Hero. <laughs> Sorry, what? Like like an unwilling hero or like a not not quite good guy but unwilling it's, good guy. <laughs> exactly. Like I'm thinking almost like you know you introduce the Koopalings in some way that he feels like. He, he doesn't want anything to do with them. Like, you know, he comes across them somewhere, like his babies or something. He's got to mm -hmm. take them on. I, okay, this is, I feel like this this could go horribly awry, too. Like, this could be like <laughs> Shrek 3 or something with the babies and everything. <laughs> but I feel like there's potential there. Where, like, you see Bowser like, had to step up to become, like, this father figure to right. these, you know, Koopalings or whatever. And uh, how he copes with that. And that also allows us to, like, bring the Koopalings back into the the fold officially like kind of explain you know who they even are because they're yeah. like they're a complete mystery at this point like you know we thought they were his kids for a while but then they weren't and now who knows what they are so i think that could be even a fun Bowser way to jr like... is just as much of a mystery now too. right <laughs> exactly you're right so you could you know maybe loop him in there too so i don't know but i think i think there is possibly potential there as well in exploring more of the bowser side of things so yeah though it would be really funny if bowser gets his own movie or movie focus before getting his own proper game <laughs> like after all this time that would be right yeah we're yeah that is actually amazing he has not had his own game has he that's uh kind he's of gotten very close but it's mostly starring alongside mario right at least he so. got yeah at least got the title of bowser's fury so mm -hmm. all right trust any other thoughts <laughs> just that i'm just honestly i'm excited and th this was like the perfect thing to announce on mario day it really was. It's the one thing I was hoping for. I was not expecting it. We actually got it, so I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. As you know, I'm a huge fan of the Mario movie. I've been, like, 
Uh, I've been making, I've, I've been working on a, a couple of videos related to it. One's up on the channel right now for our uh, early access members. If you, mm. if you're a member, you can check it out right now. I'm working on a much bigger movie related, or much big, not movie, might be movie length, much bigger video related to the Mario movie. Uh, hopefully, having that out uh, within the next few weeks, we'll see. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I, I just, I just adored everything about the film. And I can't wait to see like how they flesh it out in in the sequel. Like, what other worlds will we explore? Like, what? One other thing, Tristan knows, because in the Mario movie, you know, they show the world map, right, of right. all the continents that we know about. But it's like very tight, you know. Like it's yeah. focused only on the ones in the movie, and it's like there's you can have any, an infinite amount beyond what we see, you know. And uh, they kind of like left they the could, door open. They could explore any of the areas we see, like Mario, Peach, and Toad walk through. For True, a single briefly, scene. right? <laughs> yeah, they they they. They conceptualize these worlds. We could explore more of them, you know, uh, like yeah. the the Desert Kingdom area. Could you know that that could be possibly Daisy's home as an example if she <laughs> shows up. So, all right, I'm stoked. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to all the conversations we're gonna have, Tris, over the next couple of years as we start yeah. getting the you know the uh, the cast announcements. Of course, I'm, I assume it'll carry over some of the first one, but you know with the new characters, you know what this movie is gonna be, the trailers. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Oh, so that's a great question, actually. When do you think we'll start to get any of the any of that info? Yeah, Could we by the end of the year learn of any casting? You know, that would kind of line up with the first one, right? Uh, because we start finding out the cast about a year and a half before its release date. Uh, yeah. I, but that was before the delay, I think, um, if I remember correctly. It, yeah, because it, it was September. It, it was September of, like, 2021, I think. Right. That we, that we got... Yes, so, so, something like that. So it was... While it was supposed to be, like, you know, a year and four months after that, it ended up being, you know, a bit longer. Right. So, I mean, maybe it's something they would say for next Mario Day next year, but I would... I. I don't know. Anything, even small, before then would be nice. I agree. But I also wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being next next Mario Day, and then like every six months or so, at first they start rolling out little bits of info. Yeah, I could see that. But it next Mario Day be would be about a year out from the movie, and that's when they would yep. they would want to start really pushing it. I feel like. And now yeah. that the you know now that we now that we are aware of this theatrical universe existing like they don't have to do all the legwork for that again now people know what the mario movie is um they want, yeah so I, th I think you're right i would love to see more this year it'll probably be next year i'm thinking so yeah all right well there you have it everyone that's our discussion on the biggest news for mario day this year so happy <laughs> mario day once again hope you're all having as much fun as we are with these announcements and of course we'll be back with uh covering everything else related to it like Thousand Year Door, Luigi's Mansion 2, and uh, we'll, play, we'll be playing the NSO games on stream. I think that'll be, would that be tomorrow Nitrous, actually? Monday? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'll be back. Be. We'll be playing them soon, so that should be a lot of fun. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below of of this uh, Mario movie uh, world style sequel, what, whatever it is. Is it going to be Donkey Kong? Is it going to be Luigi's Mansion? Is it going to be something else? Let us know in the comments below, and with that, we'll catch you later. Bye, everyone.